Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.7, the Hardcore Adventure Challenge. This is where we play Permadeath Hardcore on uh, 1.7, the new update, but we can't break anything without the right tools since we're in Adventure Mode. Uh, Waddle is doing fine, as you can see in my base. He's grown up. I'm gonna try to give him a friend. Nope, okay. Sorry, buddy. Gotta wait a little longer for love. Uh, we're all geared up. You can see I got my full iron. Uh, I got some uh, gravel to make some arrows, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go to the nether. It's exciting. Oh, the uh -oh, sun's going up, but there's still zombies out here. There's a baby. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to run. Uh, <laughs> this creeper's right where I want to be since we need some lava. I'm going to try to grab this and go from my lava pit. Okay, we're making it exciting right at the beginning. Thanks, buddy. He's, man, it's like a shark creeper. He's going into the ground. So if I go up past my waterfall here, there's another entrance to where I need to go. That way we can avoid some of these zombies. This water can be a little annoying, but I think it looks cool enough where I'm going to leave it here. But there's a little hole in the cave wall. Hopefully that baby doesn't come uh, after me. Yeah, we go through this hole in the wall where the men can see it all. And should be back here is where I built this portal. Now, uh, oh yeah, this is, uh, this is Waddle, and he's left me an egg. This is Waddle's brother. He's stuck in this tree, and I noticed he's a very good source of eggs because he doesn't move anywhere. So we got another egg. Uh, <laughs> anyways, whoa, that skeleton is burning. Oh, there's another chicken up there. Man, I never noticed that. All right, so we got this portal. If you didn't see at the end of my last world, I showed you how to make this. You basically just dig down two blocks so that the water that you, the two water you put up here will fall down into there. And then you dig out the holes in the wall here and put in lava like so to make the obsidian. Then I can steal this water. I'm going to drop one over here. And then we'll take the other one with us. Even though water does not work in the nether, it will uh, evaporate. I might as well keep one with me since that's how I died last time. I fell into lava and uh, that screwed me over. So we can just dig this out and we've got our portal. So the goal today is to get blaze rods. Uh, a couple at least would be good. Then I can make some uh, some potions. I can make a potion brewing stand, but I can also make the the uh, heat res fire resistant potion using some uh, magma cream or blaze powder plus a slime ball. So hopefully we can find something here. Ooh, it's loading in. Oh dang. Okay, I thought I got hurt there for a sec because uh, it did the little like slapping meat sound of falling. All right, so we are in the Nether. I gotta look around here. If we're lucky, we'll find a fortress somewhere close by. Uh, but who knows, because sometimes it takes a long time to find these. I figured uh, I want to talk more about 1.8 stuff, since that's getting close by. The uh, the snapshots should be starting pretty soon. They said January, and uh, I know they've already been working on 1.8 for a bit, because we have some new blocks and stuff that they've teased and shown off. So uh, hopefully we'll get another snapshot here soon. I guess I'll try it down here. I don't see another fortress like right in the vicinity, which is unfortunate because I gotta come back here a couple times. Today's journey is just mainly to get my first couple blaze rods, and then once I have fire resistance, I'll come back in here, and uh, hopefully we won't die as easy, because I can go into lava without dying with the potion. Man, we are stuck on soul stand. <laughs> Let's go around this. Uh, but 1.8, I was thinking about what it might be that they're going to uh, focus the update on. And somebody mentioned uh, maybe it should be in Dinnerbones AMA on Reddit, they asked him maybe the update should be new blocks and block improvements and dinnerbone did chuckle a little bit at that because i in the kind of like he 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 like that actually what it is what it is so i think that's probably a good sign they said it's about two things though that will please two completely different groups of players so we'll have to see i hope it's like new blocks that are good for decorative purpose purposes as well as new blocks that are good for survival is my hope so uh We'll see, we have the granite block and we have the bouncy slime block so far. Uh, another thing that brings up is that someone at mentioned that they'd love to see different uh, different ground levels underground that would uh, take different amounts of durability to go through. And Dinnerbone uh, mentioned that he'd love to do this and he's been thinking about it for a while. I think uh, some of the other games, I know SteamWorld Dig, uh, that's a fun game on 3DS if you guys haven't checked it out. Uh, I did a playthrough of that a while back. and. Uh, what other games? I, I'm not sure if... I've never played at Terraria or Starbound, but those games might have different underground levels that you need. The uh, different like sets of tools or durability to get through. I'm going to leave some ugly dirt in here, but at least it'll help me find my way back. I forgot to get the coordinates of the portal. Crap, it's back that way to, to the north, i got to remember. And we're going west, so i got to go like northeast to get back there. Um, so yeah, 
the uh, that was something that Dinnerman said he'd love to implement. And the fact that we're getting granite is pretty telling that maybe they're going to implement different... Oh, nice! Yes! Oh, that's not the most accessible fortress, but I'll take it. It's, uh, I might be able to build, like, a, a little thing over there. Okay. I love when they pop up over the fog like that. It's awesome. It's, it's eerie, but it's also cool. Uh, we got quartz everywhere. Should I grab a couple quartz while we're here? I guess I don't need it. I can come back if I, if I need quartz. I forgot that nether quartz is a thing. It's mainly just for the, like, comparators and daylight sensors and fancy stuff and quartz blocks if I want it, but I'll leave that for now because there's probably a ton near the portal. Okay, so this is to the west. Oh no, that wither skeleton's already staring at me like, come on, you want to try me? He's guarding the blaze uh, spawner. That's what I need to get to as well. Um, so what was I? Oh, the granite. So granite is probably a good sign that we might get different stuff. Granite right now seems to just be decorative, and that's probably going to be its main purpose, but it might be harder to mine than normal stone, even though it's a stone variant. Uh, so yeah, we might see that sort of thing. Let me try to lure one of these guys over. Alright, hey, he forgot about me there. There we go, okay. I forgot these guys are faster because they have the sword. I'm going to try to use some of my arrows because I don't want to get the wither effect on me. I have a bunch of arrows. If I can get some wither skulls, that would be really cool for this area too. Oh, that was a horrible shot. Look out, here he comes. Okay, there we go, got him. I, I can pick up this arrow if I'm quick enough, but I also don't want to lure a blaze. If I hit this guy at the right angle, maybe he'll just fall off. Mm, nope, he didn't find me yet. I'm gonna run in. I just heard some blazes spawn. There we go. Okay, there's one right there. I'm gonna try to pick him off. That's why I have all these arrows. If I can get these blazes out of here without having to deal with them. Oh no, I'm on fire. Uh, okay, one blaze down. I hope I don't get lit on fire too too badly here. Come on, blaze. Uh, use my bow skills. Um, yeah, if we can get like one blaze rod. I gotta really hurry when we get up here. There we go. We also, we could use more than one though, if I can grab another. Some more blazes are going to spawn a second. It's spinning. Oh, oh, it's like glitchy. Uh, so yeah, we got we got one blaze rod. I would like a couple more at least. But we did get what we came here for already. Okay, so well, there's another blaze. Maybe I'll lure one of those. Those ones don't seem to be spawning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, I'm, uh, the one with the uh, 1.8, I'm a little disappointed that there's no... I don't want to kill this one because he's just going to drop his blaze rod. I'm just going to leave him unless he comes up here after me. Yeah, here he comes. He's slowly walking. or flying. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Don't, nope, don't want that. There we go. You have to use the right tool to extinguish fire in this, too. I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, 1.8, they already said they probably aren't going to add any new mobs. But if they're working on improving stuff and improving survival... That doesn't mean that they can't improve the existing mods that are in, or mobs that are in the game right now. I'd love to see, I think the one that needs the most improvement, beside maybe like witches and adding some function to bats possibly, uh, even though bats are fine as an aesthetic mob, I think the dragon is the one that's in the most need of, uh, of additions and improvements because we got the wither which is a really cool boss. I like fighting the Wither. I have on uh, on my Pixelmon server, Pokinawa, I have a little arcade game that lets you fight the Wither even though you're playing Pokemon. You can take a break. Oh, hello. I'm surprised we haven't seen a gas so far. Gas? I... Man, these guys are loud. Um, <laughs> they're not too t Like, the gas, it's funny that they have the same health as a chicken, which is like the weakest of the farm mobs, but otherwise they would be really tough to take down, so it's kind of good that they don't have much health. But yeah, the dragon, when you look at the wither and how how well they kind of made the wither and made it where you can fight it anywhere and it takes a while to, to get the goal to fight it, like, it still takes a bit to get to the end, but I would love to see the dragon uh, improved. Ooh, I, I got stuck on the corner there. I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. Um, the dragon, uh, I've heard, I need to play the PS3 version still, which is the same as the 360 version, but I do have that, and I want to check out the dragon on there, because I have heard that its breath ability, it, like, homes in on its, like, home area, it's, like, way better programmed, supposedly, than the current Ender Dragon that we have. Did I kill both of them? I thought the other one didn't, maybe they both died at the same time. Oh, there he is, he's hiding. Run! <laughs> I think... Yeah, maybe like one more blaze rod, and I think we'll be good for now. I can always come back later and get more if I need to. Just one more blaze, please. That other one's stuck, so hopefully we can get another one to spawn here. Come on, guys. Pop out for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the Ender Dragon could definitely ooh, use some improvements. 
to make it more fearsome. When you can go into the final boss battle of a game using a wooden sword, leather armor, having a pumpkin on your head maybe, but like going in with very basic equipment and you can still take down the boss, it's, uh, it's a little telling that maybe it's too easy and they need to work on that. So I'd love to see them go back to a lot of old features in the game, but the, uh, the Ender Dragon is definitely one. Seven arrows left. I don't want to deal with you, Gas. Get out of here. He's probably going to blow this up. Okay. Can mobs not blow stuff up? Oh, they can. Never mind. Mob griefing is on. I was going to say, creepers definitely blow, blow things up. Let's kill these guys. Come on. I need to use the rest of my arrows on these blazes. Oh, okay. That one's dead. The other one's still behind there. Okay. There's our last blaze rod. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um... So yeah, the Ender Dragon. I, I would love to see improvements to that. If they're gonna, if they're gonna improve survival, I think that's one of the things. Because there's all this build up to fighting the Ender Dragon, and then once you get there, it's kind of anticlimactic. And uh, I think it it could be improved upon for sure. I'm gonna grab some of this glowstone while we're here as well. Might as well grab this. This is used for. I can't remember what potion. Oh no, this it doesn't. This enhances potions. It makes them like the next level. And redstone elong oh, elongates the like effect time or whatever, so it's good to have some of this. Might as well make some uh, some redstone lamps or something maybe in my house as well. Just got to get redstone first. Um, <laughs> it's funny how when you're playing the game normally and like mining a ton, that uh, you get so much redstone accrued. But I don't have any right now. I haven't really been mining much. So yeah, we. Uh, I'm, I still don't know exactly what the next update is going to be about, but they did say the two themes. I just hope it's... It, I like the idea of improving existing functions, but also adding new to the game at the same time. They tend to do that with each update, but uh, having a focus just directly on block improvements and block updates and stuff would be pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that they mentioned, because someone suggested the pandas, which is that mob that Jeb has mentioned that he would like to add, but... Uh, Someone, uh, Dinnerbone responded that it would be a hassle to add it. So I wonder if after 1.6, they're, they're just kind of like sick of mobs at this point a little bit. I don't think that's going to stop them, obviously, from adding new mobs in the future. Ooh, there's a baby. What's up, little guy? Uh, but it will probably keep them from adding anything as complicated as the horses for a bit. I think the horses probably wore them out on, uh, on new mobs just because... You had to, they had to make so many like variations. They had help from Dr. Shark, obviously. That's what I need, magma cream. Um, but yeah, it was probably a hassle to add that in and make it work with the writing and so many glitches and things with it that uh, they might not feel like adding any any new mobs for a while. Got that magma cream. All right, that's what I wanted. Cool. If there's any more slimes around here, there's one. I'd like to get some more cream, please. Give me your cream. Um, but yeah, the. Uh, the chicken jockey, I was just thinking about that with this baby. So there's a huge glitch with 1.7, or not glitch, but unintended function with 1.7, where if the chicken jockeys, whoa, man, I really need to watch where I'm going. If the chicken jockeys uh, spawn in caves, and the, the jockey will despawn eventually, but the chicken will stay, and unfortunately, that means that the chicken will hide out in the cave, they'll lay eggs, zombies will spawn probably, most likely, and pick up the eggs, and then they won't despawn because they're holding an item. So that's unfortunate because a lot of servers are getting a ton of zombies spawning in their uh, in their area and then they're not despawning and it's making a ton of lag. So if you have a server or even if you're playing by yourself, beware of the chicken jockey. If you see a chicken in a cave, kill it because uh, it might seem kind of funny to see one there and it might be something you want to leave there. but. Uh, it will probably mess your game world up a bit by lagging it, and uh, you're gonna have to find those zombies and get rid of them because they won't despawn. But yeah, the I, they just probably need to make the chicken despawn with the jockey when the jockey dies, and uh, that would solve the problem. Or just if if it's a chicken from a chicken jockey, maybe it doesn't lay eggs. Ooh, there's the portal. Okay, I'm glad that that little piece was gone there. I knew we were heading in the right direction because it was northeast, but. See if I can get out of here. So yeah, that was a successful adventure, guys. We got our blaze rods, and uh, I can't get this without a shovel, can I? Let me do this. There we go. Um, we got our blaze rods. I can grab a couple more soul sand, just in case I want to make a wither. I don't have any of the skulls, but we know where a fortress is, and it is very close by to the... I didn't take a coordinate of that either, but it's not that far. 
I, uh, sorry, I, sometimes I leave my coordinates up on the screen and I forget that, uh, it doesn't look that great, but it is, uh, it is easier for me to find my way around. So there we go. We got what we needed, and I can make a brewing stand now. Start getting potions. The creeper is still here. Ah! <laughs> Let me kill this guy. There we go. I planted a few trees, as you can see. We got that nice dark oak growing. Man, those zombies they see me from so far away. Let's get out of here and uh, go hide. They can't break my door down on adventure mode, which is kind of funny. I think it might be a glitch, or just because we're in adventure mode. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Waddle, friend? Nope. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> so we got what we need next time. I probably head back into the nether maybe a little bit, but I've got the stuff to make my potion that will make it very easy to fight blazes without getting lit on fire. And we need to kill some endermen soon and hopefully get a wolf. That's my two next goals, getting the ender pearls and getting a wolf. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Hope to see you soon for a 1.8 snapshot, but also for more adventures in this hardcore adventure challenge. Goodbye.